Although most INFJs hardly realise when it's happening, the INFJ stare can be extremely puzzling for the ones being stared at. Of course, the INFJ doesn't mean to seem creepy or invasive, but their deep introspection and analytical traits make it necessary to use their senses to fully understand a situation or person. So what's the reasoning behind this unique piercing stare? Welcome or welcome back, Psycho. Today, we'll be talking about the five reasons behind the intense INFJ stare. Before we get into the video, have you liked and subscribed to our channel? Go ahead, we'll wait for you. Be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so you never miss a video. All right, let's get right into it, starting with number one, deep analyzation. Observant and curious, the INFJ's analytical nature is deemed responsible for most of their intense gazes. Even when an INFJ is fully relaxed and possibly uninterested in their surroundings, their analytical minds work almost incessantly, picking up on the small details of everything and everyone around them. While this process may be subconscious at times, the INFJ still resorts to their extroverted sensing in order to absorb the information from their outer world. In the case of an INFJ gaze, of course their eyes can become fixated on their analyzing target, but they are also probably tuned in with their hearing and energy sensing in order to make sense of the greater picture. When an INFJ is using their intense gaze for analysis, it looks less like a blank stare and more like an observant curiosity. For example, if it's a person they're analyzing, they may be trying to get a sense of how they're moving their bodies, how they're talking, their eye movement, tone of voice and reaction to the outer environment, all of which an INFJ will use to broaden their understanding of human nature. Number 2. The Wandering Mind The wandering mind of an INFJ is quite different from that of their deep analyzing gaze. In fact, most of the time an INFJ is participating in their wandering thoughts, they usually have little to no focus on where their eyes are wandering because although their eyes are open, they're not really processing anything they're seeing. Whether the INFJ gaze is caused by a bout of daydreaming, imaginative scenarios or weighing out the pros and cons of an outcome, this introspective gaze comes with a sense of detachment from the real world. Yet, people on the outside of course don't realise this. Therefore, this blank stare can seem particularly creepy and sometimes even cold and detached. The eyes fall into a dreamlike state where they begin appearing as if they are looking through the people and objects of focus rather than actually being fixated on them. In fact, when an INFJ is deep into their complex thought processes with their eyes focused on an individual, they can quickly snap out of their daydream-like state once that person catches the INFJ staring. But it's not always the case. Number 3. Intense Focus the combined function of introverted intuition and extroverted senses allows for a unique way of focusing for the INFJ personality type. Yet, it is only when an INFJ is truly intrigued by a person or situation that they can become particularly focused on it. While their interest may begin with deep analysis, using their piercing gaze to notice the details needed to fully understand something or someone, sooner or later an INFJ may find a particular detail that they are so intensely focused on. With this INFJ stare, rather than being open to picking up on anything and everything that is brought to their attention, the INFJ has narrowed their interest into a specific detail that they couldn't make a conclusion about. For example, if an INFJ uses their analysis skills to judge the characters of their best friend's new partner, they may take the back seats to quietly pick up on the most prominent details. Yet, if their dishonesty radar goes off, all of a sudden the INFJ has a new laser focus fixation on whether or not this new partner is as fishy as their intuition is telling them. Therefore, they will pay special attention to specific body language and facial expressions, yet they may carry a different type of skepticality in their focused stare, usually if they think something's up. Number 4. Closed Off Attitude Whether the INFJ is using their closed off and distant energy to make a statement that they aren't able to come to terms with verbally, or if it's an attempt to hide their feelings, the INFJ's closed-off stare will give them away every time. 
Although this introverted personality type is able to mask their feelings in hopes to avoid burdening others, their introspective minds won't stop ruminating if something is really bothering them. The cold, distant sadness and uncertainty behind the gaze is what makes it different from the rest, yet it can be quite difficult to differentiate for the average person. Therefore, it usually takes someone who really knows the INFJ to understand, but sooner or later, these ruminating thoughts can distract them from reality and staring off into the distance can become one of the first signs that something intense is going on in that never-ending INFJ thought loop. By avoiding speaking up or bringing their problems to others in hopes that one of their close-off connections may notice that they're not acting 100%, sparking a much-needed conversation that most INFJs wouldn't blatantly ask for. Whether it be the case of a romantic partnership where something is bothering an INFJ but they don't want to cause conflict, or in the case of a personal issue the others won't be able to relate to, the close-off stare is closely related to the wandering mind stare, yet there isn't usually a focus around a sensitive topic they are hesitant to discuss. Number 5. Admiration INFJs love all things quality and beauty. This creative personality is especially attracted to people and things that carry a unique essence of charm and out-of-the-box thinking. Just as the INFJ would take an extra long look of appreciation for a cotton candy sky sunset or a beautifully unique art piece, they can usually feel particularly drawn to people who look and dress unorthodoxically. They can appreciate unique senses of style because they are able to relate to the misfit independence it takes to courageously express yourself. So while their stares and fixations on the untraditional people they come across may seem judgmental or rude, INFJs are actually in complete admiration and appreciation for what they see. Aside from non-traditional looks and styles, INFJs can become fixated on simple character attributes that draw their attention and trigger their admiration stare. Things like charm, wit, quick thinking, kindness, work ethic and empathy can catch an INFJ's attention and leave them craving more of that character trait. Heck, if they're staring, they definitely have better odds at witnessing another admirable encounter. Well, that's it for today, Cycles. So, have you ever witnessed the INFJ stare? If so, comment which ones down below. Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more Cycle videos.